everyone, it's Coach Austin here coming to you from Hyper Strength and Conditioning. I'm going to show you how to warm up with the dowel uh, right here. Nothing fancy, something pretty simple. So when you get to take a stick, you have uh, access to a stick like this. Uh, what I usually have my athletes and members here do is we go over under shoulder dislocations or dislocators, whatever you want to call them. I just go, I call them over unders. And you just go over and under. And you, you don't want to go like fucking fast and shit. All right, you want to go over and under, basically. All right, keeping that chest up. All right, you want to just loosen up those shoulders, just like this. And then after, notice I have a white grip, right? After I like to do, after I like to go side to side, so it's just like this, boom, boom. Especially if people are doing and getting into weightlifting, like they love doing this shit. Um, so this is great. Loosen up the shoulders again. All right. Another thing is you want to stretch out all the muscles surrounding your shoulder. You want to take this, see how I'm doing I'm like, I feel like I'm teaching the rest of you. Up, you're gonna go back of the right hand, all right? It's gonna go over, and then your hand's gonna be under, and then the dowel's gonna be alongside your tricep. All right, you're gonna use this to pull this way so you can get that stretch, and it's gonna stretch like all this stuff right here, all this stuff. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. So deep breath in and pull. And then you can resist, 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 resist. And then release, deep breath in, and then pull. We gotta stretch and then resist, resist. Try to pull against two, three, like do a little some PNF stretching. All right. And then pull again. Woo! Shit. Don't pull too hard. Don't, don't be, be very conservative during this, this part, all right? So this is great. This is awesome, all right? And then, I'm just kind of rushing through, guys, or just kind of so I can show you the flow of it. And then this one, do the same thing on the other side. So you pull, breathe out, and then you're resisting, so you want to pull this way, but still give resistance. So you're gonna resist, pull three, about three seconds. Three to seven seconds, like seven seconds. Uh, why don't you do five? Well, we can do five. <laughs> and then pull, and then release, and then pull again farther this reminds me of one of those like you know when people used to sell magic water or some shit like that or sir it was like water or something it's like oh you you have more range of motion when you drink it it's like no it's just it's just how the body works so again another third time you're just pulling all that fun stuff this is great oh that was awesome so then again white white uh white grip and go over all right, you can do overhead squats. So make sure it's up, sticks up. You're just coming down and up, keeping that chest up. All right, just sit down and up for a side dude like this. All right, you do like maybe 10 reps. Just like that. There. And then what you guys can do is switch grip like this. You start doing deadlifts with the stick as a stick guiding through uh, using your legs as like uh, railroad tracks and and this stick just going down. This is just warming up, all right? It's not to teach you how to delve. It's just warming up, just doing the hinging motion, just like this, all right? So from a side view, what I'm doing, I'm not doing it like a full, I'm like, Ugh! Like, I'm just getting the hamstrings, posterior chain warmed up, low back glutes, squeezing the glutes at the top. But yeah, that's, that's how I like to do my flow. Pretty simple, you do like three sets over and over again, couple reps, each of them. Um, that's a very simple flow of how to use the dowel to warm up your shoulder joints, uh, your legs, your hips, stretching out all that stuff. I'm sure there's more, but this is the flow that we like to use here. Let's go, Justin from Hyper Strength and Conditioning, and I'm out.